<laughs> Saudi, Saudi monster. Yeah, you can leave it. Like, okay. Well, how are you guys doing? Yeah. Ben and I just got to our breakfast meeting destination that we do every week, every Tuesday morning. We like coming to this place, it's got good coffee and good service. I had to ask for heavy whipping cream because I found out they had that here. Way better than whatever they were giving me before. That was a good meeting. A couple of things we talked about was we got a few birthdays coming up with some of our kids and we talked about birth control and if we want to have a kid or not. Another kid. We have lots of kids, but if we want to have another kid or not. I don't know. Like, I'm more at a place in my life now where I'm kind of moving past the making a baby stage, but I'm not fully, fully there. Mama! <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hey. Hi. What about me? I love you. Uh huh? 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 Look what I got. <clears throat> what? Oh, now are you excited to see me? <laughs> you got, hang on. You gotta share this with Flea. This I is, know. Yeah? Hey, if I'm gonna give it, this is just for you and her. It's not just for you. Can I hold it, go, go? Well, are you gonna share it? Mm -hmm. Hey, what happened here? Man, I am tired. And we are not nine, but actually only five days away from the 24 hour race. And today is kind of a special day because I don't know if you guys remember Harvey. Harvey's an ultra runner friend of ours that we met on the Appalachian Trail and has actually run quite a few of these 24 hour races. In fact, he's the person that first introduced us to this idea. Anyways, he's on his way over here to talk about strategy or preparation or tell us how to prepare for to do this thing because none of us have ever tried to run 24 hours or a distance that high. And I'm really excited to hear like what he has to say because I don't know. There's a lot of things that kind of come to my mind of things that I'm a little bit worried about. Things like chafing and electrolytes. I heard you could like have too few and then I heard you could have too much. And then of course there's calories and then there's the sleep and then there's like all the ways your body can actually break down whether it's your feet or your legs or just like the sleep deprivation or how to deal with caffeine, like does that mess you up? So he's offered to come over and talk to me and the kids and share what he has to learn. So we'll see what he has to say. He wants to sleep, they could go in there. But you're not. I'm you not planning to sleep. I don't usually sleep unless I decide that, okay, I'm just gonna like um, take this easy because I have the world championship is like five weeks away and sleep. However, it's not a bad idea to sleep, especially the first time you're doing it. I would just like, it's kind of amazing because if you just keep on walking, you can walk a long ways in one day and you could try to get like your personal best of like what's the furthest you ever covered that like you guys have all covered the marathon. So any distance above a marathon, like even a mile further is a ultra. Really the whole thing here is kind of like imagine it is like a, a, a sort of camping adventure where you're just kind of like a, a sort of like a festival sort of environment, but there are not a million people here. However, there will be people that are just coming out to enjoy the park that happen to be walking along here. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I kind of get here I 
saw these people rock. I did a loop with him around Lake Harriet, it was maybe like two and a half or three miles at that time. And I thought these people are the craziest people I've ever seen in my whole life. I don't understand what in the world is wrong with them. Why are they doing this 24 hour race? I would never do that kind of thing. It's like How many 24 hour races have you done since then? Have you any idea? Honestly, I totally, I can add them up, but I've forgotten at this point. I don't even know. Like, uh, that's so funny. Okay. All right, we're ready to go for a run now. So now I've run, I did, we did a running club after school, so we ran like, I ran with like one and a half. That was really good. We got all sorts of really fascinating information. That meeting with Harvey was super cool because he's already done so many of these races. He was the one that gave us the idea and he was just like really helpful for me with some very practical things, things I never would have thought of. For example, I don't really wear sunscreen. I don't really like it. But he was saying if you don't wear sunscreen when you're out in the sun for like 16 hours, the sun actually sucks the energy out of you and your body uses extra calories or energy just to cool down and it'll like kill your ability to run. So I didn't even think about that. Also like with liquids, about one third to one half of the liquids we consume should be electrolyte based because electrolytes and sodium content is a huge factor out there that we have to think about. He also said we should like wash our bodies or clothes like every eight hours or so because the salt on your body like creates friction and ends up just becoming a problem. Super cool. So I'm gonna ask the kids what they took away from that. Um, something that got me thinking about what Harvey said is that he said that if you do like, if you wanna do 50 miles, all you have to do is like 12 miles every six hours or so, something like that. And I was just like, oh well, that sounds really easy and I didn't really think about that, so. I don't know, it's just kind of motivational, I guess. What'd you think? <clears throat> yeah, what he said about like breaking it into like doable increments was really helpful. And then he said like a lot of people rest and it makes it so they can actually get in more miles because they're rested and I didn't really think that was the case. When he yeah. did a zombie impersonation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw that. Hearing Harvey talk about the race was really encouraging. He like was telling us, he showed us the race course and we looked at a picture of it and he told us where everything would be. And he told us like stories of like the first time he'd done something like this when he was 20. He said that he did 82 miles when he was 20 years old for the first time. So I think that's more encouraging than discouraging. I don't know, I'll we'll see. And it was, hearing him was also like really motivational. He said stuff like, it's gonna be a lot of fun. He's super like energetic, so hearing him talk is like, it always makes me excited. Uh, it was really nice hearing Harvey talk about the race because he was talking about stuff that I would like never think about, like wearing sunscreen and hats and like saying that it's like super important too. And also it was really fun hearing him describe the race, like, or the loop of what I would be looking at for 24 hours. The parks there, and he was talking a lot about this tree. All right guys, five days till race day. You ready? Okay. Nope. You're excited? Yeah. All right, well, we'll see you guys tomorrow.